Yeah. 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 This, this is James Hill of Frifold TV in association with Matthew Jim Mabba. With me, I've got Sean Mashadod. We're in yeah. Goodison Park today on the undercard of Tony Bell, UV's Ulunga Makubu. Oh, yeah. Congratulations on the win, mate. James, thank you so much, mate. How thank you. you. Unbelievable, mate. Um, on top of the world. I can't believe it. Uh, you know, <laughs> with a green belt, it feels like, I feel like a world champion, mate, to be fair. Masha story just continues and keeps on growing and the whole boom by a thing is massive. Can you explain to me sort of where you was say nine to ten months ago to where, where you are now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still am. <laughs> um, um, ten, nine, ten months ago I was I was down in the um, car. Right, mate. I was I was just down. Uh, well, I was boxing, so I was happy. You know what I mean. But it was it was I was going through a bit of a hard time at the time. Um, but um, a few sacrifices and stuff, and you know, which what boxing takes. And now I'm on top of the world, and um, you know, whole whole life's changed through hard work. Um, I think ten months ago, um, it was just before Gary Buckland fight. I think. I, I, I lost. I, I had a fight against um, Andy Townend at Super Feather, and I, and you know I, it was my first time. You know I'm always learning, and um, we don't really know anyone um, with experience who can tell us how to do these, you know, weights and stuff like that. And day before weigh-ins, and it was my first ever day before weigh-ins. I was down about nine stone. I was well under the weight. Um, and I they couldn't put much on, and I noticed that he was, you know, quite heavy. He was strong. I was winning the fight, and then I just got carried away with a little bit of inexperience. Paid the price against a good, good, tough lad, a banger. He's a cracking lad down the town, and um, so I had a bit of a break, and then I went back then, boxed um, Liam Richardson at lightweight. Felt great, and then um, Gary Buckland then, um, and then the journey, the journey's just. The stories began. <laughs> At that point, sort of, your manager Steve Wood would have spoke to him earlier and said, "We've got Masha Bombay, a very popular yeah. fighter who, who, that, who's very well liked in his sort of hometown. What, what about getting him on the car?" That was when I first um, met, um, got with Steve. Then um, after the Andy Townend fight, I only had a manager, which was the uh, Damien, and Damien's a cracking fella. Um, you know, looked after us, done as well. Um, you know, thanks for, for Damien for everything he'd done. And then he had to stop them because of the, the amateur scene. He had the amateur club and the amateur and the pros couldn't um, work together. So he had to give it up. And um, and that's when he advised me then to go to see Steve Woods. Um, I, I signed with Steve Woods then. And Steve looked after us ever since. And um, and yeah, and that's been the journey then. He's, um, he, he, I had my first fight with Steve Woods at the, uh, at the Olympia against Liam Richardson. And then we just took a took a took a risk against Gary Buckman with three days' notice, and and the rest is history. <laughs> that, that, yeah. That's been the start of it all, mate. I can honestly say that must be, that's got to be my best fight because that's what's got me where I am. Well, every fight has, but um, I think with the Gary Buckland fight, that's where that's you know that's where it propelled to to the two fights with uh, Scott Cardle and now this one with um, Pascal yes, De Silvio. The first fight with Cardle was such a competitive fight, great to watch, a real fan-friendly affair. It was stopped in some people's eyes quite controversially, obviously yeah. Scott thinking it was stopped fairly. Yeah. To warrant that rematch, that big yeah. sort of rematch, and then it was sort of, would it happen, wouldn't it happen, and then the next one to be a draw, it sort of still leaves uncertainty in the air. Would you like, would you like a trilogy to clear that? Yeah, clear of course. Do you know what, mate? Like, no disrespect to Scott, uh, but the first fight, I was knocked off on my motorbike a couple of weeks before I boxed Gary Buckland, and I couldn't balance on my right ankle. And if you watch the replay back properly, my right ankle twists, and I and I fell over. I know the shots were, you know, were, were were a couple of shots, but they weren't clean. And I, and my ankle went, and I fell over, and I went I went hurt. <laughs> There's Joe. Look, he won't have it, will he? Uh, if you if you look at it properly, you'll see. Um, so no no disrespect to Scott, you know you know he, he's a, I, I like Scott and he's a he's a you know he's a champion at the end of the day. But my ankle went, my ankle twist, and if you look at the replay properly, you'll see it. I fell over, um, with me balance got up, and the fight was waved off. So there's nothing I can say about that. You know it's um, it's boxing and it's a dangerous game. 
Um, you know, the, the third fight, you know. Joe, what's happening? Joe, we having a third fight or what? <laughs> Me and Cardinal. <laughs> uh, it's a good one. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not bothered. Shot Cardinal fight you, Doesn't sound too good. It's a great fight. I'd do it all again, no problem. Now, it's good for the fans, you know, and it'll be good for Scott, good for myself. Yeah. I, listen, I'll go anywhere. I mean, I mean, um, and I've got nothing against anyone whatsoever. I just like boxing, and if it makes sense, then we have a, we, we, we fight. Um, if the fans want to see it, we fight for the fans, and you know, it's a, it's a short career, so let's get the best that we can. And a trilogy with Scott Carlo would be amazing. It would, um, but there's plenty of fights out there now. I'm, I'm WBC champion, baby. You've now just captured the WBC national title. Fantastic. Um, I want to have a little break now because I've, you know, I, I took, I've had like four camps now, solid back to back, and it's, it's been good, busy, hard fight, and the camps are hard as well, as you know. Um, I want to spend a bit of time with my family now, with my kids, um, you know, just relax, spend time with my dogs, get my house done. Yeah, just a, just a loads of little little bits and bobs I want to get done. I don't want to rush it all. I want to take my time doing it. Have a good rest, and then I'm good to go again, mate. Um, you know, maybe a, a, a month or two at the most, and I should be ready then to go. You are becoming a bit of a fan's favourite in, in sort of Liverpool and Runcorn and all yeah. sort of areas. So it must be good that you're sort of. The mash of Bombay A feeling is spreading. Mate, you know what? It feels, you know, all the lads from Liverpool um, are superb. They, you know, they, they, they're all well behind me. Um, you know, Burke and Ed, they said they're Run Corn, um, Manchester, everywhere now. It just seems, I just feel like I'm adopted, I'm adopted um, Englishman all, all, all around, all country. So I just want to say thanks to everyone for the support. It means the world to me. Um, I'm just an honest boxing person who just wants to work hard and, and, and do, do myself do well for myself and uh, you know when just see where the journey ends um, I'm not not in it to to, to, to to ruin anyone or hurt anyone in a in a disrespectful way you know with the thing that's going on with Scott or anything like that you know I respect every lad every fighter I'm just happy to be doing what I'm doing and um, just hoping that the journey the story can go on and it can be a good story for everyone to look back on and my kids and myself and my family and you know everyone as well means the world Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, I film and MGM as well. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Means the world. You're a star. Coogan, yes, brother. Cheers, James. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot.